All right, so you need to divide your paper into five equal sections on the long side. And so how I do that is um, a few inches away from the top, I make a little tally mark. And then I'm basically gonna put four tally marks and I'm gonna try to make them equal distance apart from each other. And once I get four tally marks, this will allow me to get five sections. And they don't have to be perfectly equal. We don't need to measure. And then we just wanna draw these lines straight across. Okay, you're gonna put your name up here at the top and your class period. Okay. And then we need to divide this column into two equal parts vertically. And that's gonna allow us to put our notes here and then to be able to paint our technique here. So this one is going to be flat and you can go book back and look at the notes to get the definition. Make sure you write the word and the description this is going to be layered. Glaze. Dabbing. And lines on this side. For these first three, you're just going to paint flat blue. So flat means no technique is involved. You wanna have very little water on your brush because we don't want the paint to be watered down. So make sure that it is, um, that you dry off any water that might be on it. And then you wanna take a pretty big scoop of paint and then Fill in each of those squares for flat, layered, and glaze. All right, the dabbing technique is gonna be next. Right now, I'm cleaning my brush after painting those other three boxes and I'm trying to leave a little bit of water on the brush. I don't want it completely dry and Dabbing is a way of creating texture. This is gonna help us create clouds. It's gonna help us create trees as well as create a rocky texture for our mountain. All right, so first I'm gonna paint a tree and I'm gonna start by holding my brush away from me with the bristles towards me and the handle going away from me. And the brush is being held sideways on its side and I'm pushing down with it and then lifting up to make um, so that it goes from thick to thin. This is gonna be the base of my tree. Okay, so you notice it's thicker at the bottom, thinner at the top. Now what I'm doing is I am trying to use water and paint, and I'm trying to smush the paint into the water that's already in my brush so that I just have paint um, on the tip of my brush. Okay, so you can see the paint has been smushed into the water, and the paint are kind of mixed together on the tip of the brush. And I'm gonna hold my brush at a slight angle, so not straight up and down, but slightly at an angle so that only the tip of the brush is touching the paper. Okay, so just using the very tip, I'm gonna lightly tap to the left and to the right, going back and forth, just tapping, picking up my brush each and every time to tap with it to create this texture of tree branches and as I go down the tree I'm going to press a little bit harder with my brush and angle it down more flat so that I can create thicker branches at the bottom of the tree and then keep them more thin towards the top. Okay let's do that again. Okay again I've got water on the brush I'm smushing the paint into the paintbrush um, to make the base of the tree. I do put a little bit more of a glob on the bottom of the brush just because it makes it easier to spread. So I'm gonna hold the brush sideways and hold the brush away from me and then slowly lift up. So pressing down and then lifting up. Okay, again, we're gonna start at the very top of the tree, making as tiny little marks as we can, using only the middle of the top tip of the brush 
tapping it to the left and to the right very quickly, but picking the brush up each and every time. Pressing a little bit harder, holding the brush a little flatter as you work your way down to the tree. And you're going to want to practice this somewhere else before you bring it over to the notes. You're going to want to kind of refine and master this skill first before you put it on the notes. All right, again, using very little, uh, using water and paint on my brush, I'm going to hold my brush perfectly straight up and down and quickly let um, swing my hand, swing my arm side to side so that only the very tip of the middle of the brush is catching on the paper very quickly, making as thin as line, the thinnest line that you possibly can. 